Well, uh, Paul Mercurio is an award-winning writer and comedian. But before that, he was a lawyer on Wall Street who decided to change careers. I was living a secret double life. I was a lawyer by day, comic by night. And people always say to me, did you know you were going to be a comedian? I'm like, no. They were like, were you funny? I'm like, yeah, I was always the funniest lawyer in my law firm, <laughs> which is kind of like being the sexiest IT guy. <laughs> Paul does stand up on shows like The Late Show with Stephen Colbert, offending IT guys everywhere. <laughs> There's a popular podcast called Two Chairs and a Microphone. His email doesn't work anymore, but Paul Mercurio exactly. is with us every morning. How are you? I got three people. This is awesome. Yes, Thank you. Get, you get the full, the full treatment here. Yeah, at yeah. I, uh, it's nice to be here. I, uh, I love coming here. I'm at the House of Comedy. It's always fun to come back to the Adam area. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right. yeah. So tell us how this works. Uh, uh, like you said, you were a lawyer. Yeah, and I was. People tell you you're funny, but you're like, well, yeah, no, exactly. Funny for you a know. Yeah. I did, and I did corporate, right? Exactly. Yeah. And I did corporate law, and people hear that, that it's like you're the worst of so the worst. Oh, evil. Yeah. They'd be like, oh, you kill kittens, and I'm like, ah, we would outsource that. And right. uh, <laughs> and but it uh, it killed my mother. I just like, how can I give my mother a heart attack? I know. I'll tell her I'll leave Wall Street to be a comedian because we're Italian and. Um, but not that stereotypical Italian, like you think like uh, plastic on the furniture, you know, yeah. like there's that one room you only go in at Christmas and Easter and there's a picture of the Pope, Jesus and Frank Sinatra. Yeah. Our house was a pigsty growing up. It was messy because my mom and dad were working all the time. This is how bad our house was. And this is a true story. Someone broke into the house. They took the stereo. They didn't touch another thing in the house. Cop comes over to take a police report, stands in the middle of the living room and he goes, oh, my God. What kind of an animal would make a mess like this? And he thought the guy broke in and ransacked the place. Oh, funny. I'm like, it's just your house. Yeah, I'm like, oh, the guy was crazy. He threw a bra on the lampshade. He left yeah. salami out all day. He was nuts. Hey, um, so you work with Stephen Colbert a little bit. Yeah, he's a big drinker. No, oh, I'm just I'm kidding. Yeah. What, what are the secrets? What's he really like? Uh, no, he's very nice. Yeah. Um, my Every Wednesday, I shave his back. Uh, that's my job. Yeah. No, he's the nicest guy in the world. Like a family guy, yeah. really great guy, really great to the staff. And we're, you know, we have a lot of fun. And, there's a lot of fun stuff to talk about and and like you know just just like i was I, he and i were talking about vaseline one day i don't know why and you i was want thinking, to know why no. exactly <laughs> yeah, yeah. he's a little bit weird now and i was like how do the people who make vaseline make any money i have had the same tub of vaseline <laughs> right <laughs> people at home right big job. Yes, my yep. vaseline was handed down to me by my grandfather in a will <laughs> oh, mm. right. you've never heard this phrase uttered in the history of mankind honey i'm going out to get more vaseline <laughs> yeah. no those are usually people who live alone yeah exactly like exactly like myself vaseline, yeah. um no the uh, show's great he's a great guy and we're having a lot of fun you've been podcasting for a, for a long time really right yeah yeah it's your podcast is called two chairs and a microphone yes yes and you've really have brought in uh, what i think is cool is it's a very diverse kind of group of guests you've had on the show. You had Jeff Fager from I had Jeff, uh, executive 60 producer minutes. of 60 Minutes. I uh, just had him on a couple of weeks ago. Fantastic interview. Really great guy. Dr. About Drew was the last Dr. one. Dr. Drew, um, uh, Brian Cranston, Stephen Colbert, Paul oh. McCartney. And uh, I met Paul McCartney at the Colbert Report, yeah. and he was standing in the hallway. I, I round the corner, and standing against the wall like he's waiting for a bus all alone is Paul McCartney. <laughs> Wow. Oh. And my whole world slows down. I'm like, oh my God, it's Paul McCartney, right? <laughs> and then I'm like, and he was all alone. Like, he didn't have a handler or oh, manager, yeah. nothing, wow. not a parrot on his shoulder. And I'm like, should I say hi? And I'm like, hey, you know, he's out in the hallway alone. He's like a gazelle on the Serengeti plane. I'm going to pounce, right? <laughs> yeah. You got to do it. Yeah. And then um, we start talking. He was really cool. And then I said, would you do my podcast? And he goes, yeah, sure. Just like that. And there it is. Oh. And, then he, and then he said to me, how would we do it? And I'm like, ah, ah, ah. I'll come to London. So, yeah. <laughs> Paul's so. at the house comedy at Mall of America tonight and tomorrow, so you can still get tickets for that. Two shows tonight, two shows tomorrow. WCCO.com slash links for all the showtimes and ticket You guys should come. We should come. Come, bring your pocket square. You look the very whole nice. Yeah. <laughs> you look good, buddy. Thank you for, Thanks for dressing up. We